This question looks very, very hard, and I will show you an algebra way to do it at the end, because I do think there will be circumstances where the strategic solution does not work. But if you were confused by this and you had no idea what to do, you have to try the strategies. And in this case, the best one is to arithmetize, right? We have too many variables. There's a lot going on. If algebra feels confusing, one way to make it easier is to make the algebra go away. Pick numbers. Now, I would love to pick x equals 0 because that's my go-to number, but it doesn't work here because if I make x 0, I'm going to lose the m and the n that are attached to it. So I can't do that. But I can do the next best thing, which is x equals 1. So what happens? if I do that? Well, this entire equation is going to have all the x's replaced with 1's. So it becomes 1 times 1 minus 3 squared equals 1 cubed plus m times 1 squared plus n times 1. And because there's a lot of 1's, this simplifies very, very quickly. So what we end up with is 1 times negative 2 squared, well that's negative 2 times negative 2 is 4, so that's going to be 4, is equal to 1 plus m plus n. Oops. N. And notice what we want is m plus n. So I don't care what each of these things is individually. All I have to do is subtract the one from both sides to get that three is equal to the sum of the two of them together. And that is my answer. So this is a perfectly valid way to arithmetize and get this question right. If you wanted to do it algebraically, we would need to rely on the structure of the equation to understand the values of m and n. So what we'd have to do is kind of expand the left side, see what's going on if we turn it into something that looks more like the right side. So in this case, I would first do the foiling of the x minus 3s. So you might be able to do that in your head, but just to play it safe, x squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. My handwriting is getting messy. And then all of that is multiplied by this outside x. So we're going to end up with x cubed. These will combine to negative 6x. So that'll be negative 6x squared plus 9x. And notice, that is going to line up with my x cubed plus mx squared plus nx very nicely, where now I don't have to guess what m and n are. I have equivalents. So m in this case would be negative 6, n would be 9, add them together, we get positive 3, and that's the same answer we got before. So if you can, if you're definitely if you're stuck, arithmetize on something like this. See what happens when the x's disappear. However, the SAT does like to ask this kind of question in a way where the x disappearing causes some problems for us. So we might need to do it this old-fashioned or algebra way. Either way, we're kind of using the structure of the equation to our advantage. When we multiply it all out, we're noticing that in order for the m to uh, give us a value, it has to be on the x squared component, and the n is on the x component, and we're lining those components up on the different sides of the equation to see what we get. Remember that, and hopefully it'll help you on a very hard algebra question that you might see in the no calculator section.